Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a video on lease with endorsement. Let's get started. So here I am in Microsoft Word. The first thing I'm going to do is to do my preliminaries, which is to select no spacing. Once I've done that, I'm going to select Times New Roman, font size 12. Now, I'm going to go to page layout. I'm going to adjust my margin, the size of my paper. So it's currently on letter size. I'm going to put it on legal. Next, I'm going to set my margin. All right, so for my page one, I'm going to put the top margin to two inches. The left margin will be 1.5. And the right margin, I'm going to take that down to 0 0.5 inches. All right, and it's going to be applied to the old document, and I'm going to press OK. All right, I'm just going to quickly press the Enter key and go to my second page to set my margin there. All right, so I'm going to, so once the cursor hits the second page, I'm going to go back to margins, custom margins, and I'm just going to switch around my left and my right margin. So my left margin will now become 0 0.5 inches and my right margin 1 inch. And I have a video on, and I'm going to select apply to this point forward. I have a video on legal document that explains all of this why I'm switching around my margins. I can link that at the top for you to get a chance to see my explanation of that. But currently I'm here on my page 2 and you realize that my margin 0 0.5 inches left, 1.5 right. All right, that's my page 2. I'm going to go back to my page 1 and now let me go home. I can start my typing. Now for... Video to move a bit faster, I would have copied some things to my clipboard. So here I have page one of my lease. All right. Now I'm just going to modify this. Now with legal documents, any date, etc. should be written out in words. So I have dated June 17th. So I'm going to change this to the 17th of June. All right, in the year 2021, so that's okay. There should be no punctuation marks whatsoever. All right, I'm going to remove this colon. I realize that there, there's a full stop after my one. Take that out. All right, no punctuation marks whatsoever, and I'm just scanning through for that. All right, any date, any figures should be written out in words. Now, this being a lease, sometimes you may have a table with some figures. You can write them back. All right? You can write back those figures. But where you can, where you can um, write out your figures in words. And then you can put the figures in brackets beside them. Now, once I've done that, so I've scanned through for my punctuation marks, etc. So everything is okay up to this point. The next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to highlight my document and I'm going to put it on justify. Currently it's on left align. I'm going to put it on justify. All right. And please note also that my document is in double line spacing. It is in double line spacing. All right. So your legal document must be typed in double line spacing. All right. So, and I just selected justify. Now, once you select justify, any line, any row that doesn't go out to the margin, then you have to use the unspaced hyphens to take that out there. And basically, this is the key after the zero key on the keyboard. All right. And anything that doesn't go out there, you press that until it goes out. All right. And you do that for all the lines that do not go out. Why we do that with legal documents is wait two space before and after a line. So... Let me put two space here, one, two, then the line. All right. Why we do that with legal documents is that we try to prevent persons from tampering with the information. All right, so anything that doesn't go out, two space, and then you use the unspaced hyphen to carry that out. All 
also while I'm doing this, I look over and I saw my number three here. Please note that when you have your numbers, etc., that the information that follows in the line below, it goes immediately under the number. So not because it's number three or number two, I'm going to have the numbers to one side and then the information will start under the A. We do that for things such as our notice and our minutes, etc. But when it comes to legal document, we put everything to the left or to the right margin. All right, so all the information will start under the numbers. We don't leave out any space, and then the space that is left out, you realize I'm going through, and I am using my hyphens to carry those out to the end. All right. So my page one is almost complete. Two spaces on the line. All right, good. So that's my page one. Let me quickly adjust this. Let me go up into the header and um, with the header being selected, I'm going to select different first page. All right, and I'm going to put the name of the document. Please with with endorsement and I'm going to tap over to the right and put my name all right that is not in Times New Roman so let me put that in Times New Roman font size 12 all right so that is done I can quickly go on my page two and I can put the numeral two there. All right, that's on my page two. So now that that is done, the next thing I need to do is to go on my page two and to insert the information for my page two. I'm going to go to my clipboard and insert what I have. All right, so this is the latter part of the lease. I'm going to just highlight to ensure that it is in justified. And what doesn't go out to the margin, two spaces, then I utilize my unspaced iPhones to get it there. All right, the next thing I need to do, let me press enter a few times, is to ensure now that I add my attestation clause. And the attestation clause is basically the section where the signing takes place. All right, um, I'm feeling that this section is a bit cappy. Let me just quickly go on paragraphs to see what is up there. All right, to ensure that this is on single line spacing. All right, so here we are. So the next thing I need to do now is to put in the information of the persons that are a part of this lease. So I'm going to start off by saying signed by the Signed by the within named, all right, and the name I know can't hold there. So I'm just going to click now at three inches on my ruler bar to place a three inch tab, all right. So when I double click on my ruler bar, the tab stop um, dialog box comes up. It's on three inches because that's where I clicked on the ruler bar. I'm going to select set and press OK. All right, so when I tab, press tab. It takes me directly to three inches on the ruler bar. Then I just insert my bracket there. I'm going to press enter to write the name of the person, which is Rasheen Williams. All right, then I'm going to press tab again and it will take me at three inches. That's why we select the tab stops and it also ensures that our brackets are straight. All right, so it Signed by the within name machine Williams. All right, and I'm just going to put some space between that and the name of the next person. All right, so just press tab and it takes me to three inches, and then I put.
put the name of the person. Then other person, I'm going to write. Signed by the within named and the next person tab is Eric Light. Okay. Now I'm just going to add their information to the right of this. It is two spaces. Then I'm going to use the full stops. All right. I'm going to come down two spaces again and I'm going to write Rasheen's name for Rasheen to sign his or her signature. I'm going to go across from Eric and I'm going to do the same two spaces. All right. I need to add some more brackets to and I'm going to write Eric's name for Eric to do his signing. All right, now I'm going to add a bit more space because we need some witnesses. All right. So we're going to add some space for the witnesses to do their signature. So I'm just going to add um, in the presence of All right. and then leave some space now for the person to do their signature. All right. Format of this will vary, guys. The format of this will vary. So I'm just going to use the... All right. The format of this will vary from document to document. All right. Um, I can have signature of witness under that. Uh-oh. Let me just do one more. Alright, so the format of this will vary. Alright, I just added it like this for you to see how you can close off the the um latter part of the lease. Alright, so that is it. That's my lease. Alright. Now note that it's called a lease with endorsement. So I need now to do the endorsement. This is on legal paper. All right, so I now need to go on another page to do my endorsement. All right, so I'm going to go to page layout and I'm going to go to breaks and select next break. All right, so when I select next break, basically this page will be separated from the one above. So I'm able to do anything with it. All right, so the margin, I'm going to change my margin to maybe one inch all around. All right, I don't need... When I click in the header, you realize it says link to previous. I don't need this page to be linked to the previous page because it should not be numbered. All right. Let me close out of the header. Let me go back up here to still ensure that the page 2 is there. It is. All right. So this is my list. And now for this, I'm going to go to page layout. I'm going to select orientation and put this on landscape. I'm also going to ensure that the size is legal to match the paper that I'm using because remember that the endorse the legal document is folded and the endorsement is also folded, right? Sometimes it's at the back of the, the legal document and it's folded or in this case, my legal document is on two pages so the endorsement will be on a separate page but its legal document will then be placed in the endorsement and folded. All right, so I ensure that it is on legal as my size. Then I'm going to select columns. Now, you can do your endorsement on three pages or you can do your endorsement on four, four columns, not three pages, three columns, or you can do it on four columns. All right, I have done a video on endorsement. I'm going to link that above where you can see how to do the different um, columns for the endorsement. I'm going to select more columns here and I'm going to, select um, number of columns i'm going to select um four for this one all right and it's for this section only and i'm going to press ok all right so now it has four columns so i'm going to put when it's in on four columns the endorsement will go on the the first part of it when it's folded all right if it was three columns you place it in the center so I'm just going to press the enter key until I reach over to that fourth column. All right. All 
All right, here I am. Okay, so this is my fourth column. So this is where I'm going to put my endorsement. I'm going to write the word in all caps. Endorsement. And I'm going to put that in the center of my page. And I'm going to bold it. All right, and then I'm going to attach my endorsement. I have one on my clipboard, so I'm just going to look for it and paste it. Close the clipboard and then look at that. All right, so this endorsement goes along with the lease above. There's information from the lease with Rasheen Williams and Eric Light that is there. All right, I'm going to maybe enter for it to go a bit more on towards the center of the page and that will be it. All right. Okay, so that is it. All right, let me quickly go to print preview for you to see what we have done here today. All right, so here it is. Let me zoom up a bit. All right. So my page one, lease with endorsement, right? There you see the margin, 1.5 left, 0 0.5 inches right. And you're not seeing the lines coming out properly to the margin here in this preview aspect, but please ensure that when you do yours, everything is aligned to the margin. So you carry all the lines to the margin. All right, so that's my page one, no punctuation, etc. My page two, the numeral two is there. The margin is now switched. All right, so um, 0 0.5 left, 1.5 right. All right, and I basically fixed this in such a way so you can understand how to do your tabs and how the signing takes place. But this section is normally structured differently based on the document that you have to type. Okay, and finally, we go down to my third page which is my endorsement and that is on it has four columns in landscape legal paper and i place it on the first page all right so everything will be folded and placed the the endorsement will now be on the first page all right i do hope that you learned something from this video thank you very much for watching please do not forget to like to comment to share and to subscribe to the channel if you have not yet done so Please help me as I seek to help you, right, by making EDPM simple for you to understand. See you in my next upload. Bye-bye.